How's it? Okay, so this is a friction test um, of chlorate, sulfur, and uh, known catalyst Fe2O3. Uh, the idea is to find out which, uh, what proportions of sulfur to chlorate, with or without a catalyst, is the most sensitive to friction. Um, I know that around uh, two parts chlorate to one part sulfur, it is exceptionally friction. The, the, the mixture will definitely detonate with a mild amount of friction. My plan is to test 10%, uh, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50% uh, with and without uh, the catalyst at around 2%. Okay, so let's, let's start. I'm preparing the first ratio. That is half of gram potassium chlorate to 50 milligrams sulfur. Right. Something you should never do. Mix chlorate and sulfur. Right. Let's find out. This was banned in England. Mixing, mixing chlorate and sulfur was banned in England at some point, 17 or 1800s, late 1800s, 1900. I think the ban might still be enough here. Okay, let's see if we can get this to detonate. 10 percent. And with good reason, that's bad. So that's ten percent. I'm preparing the second ratio. That is half of gram potassium chlorate to one hundred milligrams sulfur. After the first detonation, I was a little shaken, to be honest. I'm glad I continued, though. Here comes the second detonation test. <laughs> Definitely seems more sensitive. Yeah, that's definitely more sensitive than uh, ten percent, twenty percent more sense is more sensitive than ten. I had to flash and change the course of the tests.
Maybe we should uh, just work out what the stoichiometric uh, mix would be and use that. I don't know what changed my mind. I just suddenly thought that using the stoichiometric ratio would be the most sensitive, so I did the math and worked out that 244 grams of potassium chlorate to 96 grams of sulfur was perfect. This based on what I think is occurring in the mortar chemically, that is 2 potassium chlorate plus 3 sulfur under friction results in 3 sulfur dioxide and 2 potassium chloride. If the bottom equation is correct, that is 2 KClO3 plus 3 sulfur goes to 3 sulfur dioxide plus 2 KCl I think that's a cool, that's what's happening in the jar in the in in the mortar and pestle there uh, then what's for every 200 for every 244 grams of chlorate we need 96 grams of sulfur so call this 250 grams to 100 um, roughly within a percent or two uh, or three or four and so that if you dropped it to the sub gram level what we require for every half a gram of chlorate is 0.2 grams of sulfur let's try that with and without uh, the iron oxide catalyst Here I am preparing 500 milligrams of potassium chlorate with 200 milligrams of sulfur for the third detonation test. Definitely saying that was the most uh, sensitive so far, and roughly so it's roughly stoichiometrically perfect. So. Here I am preparing for the final test, that is 0 0.5 grams chlorate, 0 0.2 grams of sulfur and known potassium decomposition catalyst red iron oxide or Fe2O3 at around 2%. Okay, what I forgot, what I failed to mention is that, um, what's that troll, troll face the man and those are messing with chlorates. Uh, uh, clearly you can see that when you're going to experiment with such an unstable oxidizer you should um, be a lot more careful you should be using subgram mixtures because you can you can see how easy it is to detonate you must be bloody careful troll face the man and other kiddies who are playing around with this stuff you can easily kill yourself subgram mixes is the way to go Plus, mandatory safety equipment. Alright, um, so that's my safety first, right? Next. That's the last story. Hopefully the cops don't knock up here. Arrest my ass. Now that I've given my admonishment, it's time to finish making the mix and get on with the fun part. Oh, 
what I'm hoping to achieve is high sensitivity. Let's find out. Okay. Okay, here it goes. See the fire. I couldn't tell if it was more sensitive or not. I have to do other tests. In conclusion, the sensitivity of the mixtures increased as the ratio of sulfur to chlorate increased, that is. Test 1, 500 mg chlorate to 50 mg sulfur was the least sensitive, but still detonated in the mortar and vessel. Test 2, 500 mg chlorate to 100 mg sulfur was more sensitive than test 1, and also detonated. Test 3, near perfectly stoichiometric ratio of 500 mg chlorate to 200 mg sulfur was more sensitive than the first two tests, it too detonated. And finally test 4, near perfectly stoichiometric ratio of 500 mg chlorate to 200 mg sulfur with 2% Fe2O3 catalyst detonated with the least amount of friction, plus it created the flames, as you see in this still. Addition of red iron oxide is ill-advised for small arms, because it results in visible light, think muzzle flash. My guess is that the temperature of the flames is roughly around the melting temperature of iron, and the visible light created has something to do with the formation of iron sulfide. But that's just a guess. Thanks for watching. Expect a better camera angle next time. Sigh out.